in the shop again, Jameson's Repair Shop. A little sideline project on the go today. I picked up this little uh, endoscope or borescope, however you want to, whatever word you want to use. That's the brand of it right there. I haven't, I hooked it up to the phone, but I haven't used it yet in, in anything. But what the plan is today is I want to pull a spark plug out and I want to just check the uh, status of the cylinders. But mainly I want to check uh it, whether they're closed chamber or open chamber heads i'm suspecting because it's a 73 it's it's open chamber but hey there's been some uh conflicts people have shown heads that had the this one actually has the four and the dot and the little mound on it and uh there's been conflicts on different videos different people put up that they had the four and the dot and it was a closed chamber head so i figure well one way to find out I just go inside, and I'm not pulling the heads off just for that, because it doesn't mean that much to me. It is what it is. But this is, a, for those that haven't been following the channel, this is a numbers matching engine. It's a 351 four-barrel with a, a, a four-speed transmission in it. So uh, it, it is a four-bolt main engine. I, I did have the timing cover off. I changed the timing chain in it when I first got it, and I took pictures of the the the, the mains, uh, the front mains, and it's four bolt main. So anyway, let me uh, we'll just pull the hood up on it. But I think anybody that's been following me already has already seen the engine in this old rig. This is the one I'm fixing up. Obviously, you haven't seen a lot of haven't seen a lot of uh, this car other than just the back quarter so far. Now if I can get this open, oh man, hold on. All right, I'll, I'll pause you and come right back. Okay, sorry for all the wrapping and jerking around there. But I'm going to probably pull the easiest one to get that out. And that's the engine. She's not clean. So I'll find a, a spark plug hole I can actually gain access to it pretty easy. Maybe on this side. Probably over here. It doesn't matter which one. As long as I can get at it easily. All right, I'll get set up and get back to you. Before we go inside the engine, I just wanted to double uh, confirm that this is what I'm talking about, the four and the, and the mound or the little dot. And that's it right there. It's on both heads. Uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll get the camera set up. I won't be able to uh, use my phone at the same time, uh, but I will be videoing through, my, through the new camera on my phone. So I, I've got this cylinder out, or this uh, plug out rather. That's the cylinder I'll be going in. Well, got the camera all coiled back up again. Turns out to be an open chamber head, just as suspected, or heads rather, on this engine. Uh, made in March 73. I think the engine was made in March or February 73, so it's highly unlikely it would have been closed chamber. But you know what? I had a good time checking. And you never know when a unicorn will come trotting your way, and you should know. Uh, so now I know, and there's no shocker, and if someone buys this car, I can confirm to them that it's uh, open chamber heads. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more uh, content from me, uh, notified of more content from me. You can watch my channel anytime. I appreciate that. But that's it for the uh, exploratory cavity search on the cylinder, uh, cylinder of this uh, 73 Ranchero GT.